Okay, key login. So basic, basically, uh, the reason to doing the key login is to you know steal some you know info uh, sensitive information, right? And the way of doing it, one can, one thing we just learned about you know inline IAT you know EAT hooks basically by doing doing the man in the middle, you can just intercept the uh, some key strokes, right? And another more uh, the system level is a uh, uh, IO. Is the IO request packet interception or you heard the IRP, right? It's an IRP interception. That's what it is. And or the malware can hook, I you know, interrupt discrete the table, the IDT, you know. But for our uh, for our class, we are uh, we are we are not going to look at this one. But okay, so sorry, I gotta make it. Okay, so one way of doing it is a man in the middle, or there's another Windows uh, API in you know, a calls. They can monitor the uh, key, some monitor key strokes. Okay. So those three are functions, Windows functions, processes, AIPs that if I buy that when I buy that book that Mike mentioned, I can get the description of each of those. Yes, yes, exactly. Right. So yes. Um, so these APIs are actually uh, written by Microsoft and the, the, the legitimate uh, APIs. What is said, said Windows hook has been used for the, uh, to intercept the key logging is there's a specific event when on a piece of code actually called this in you know, a set Windows hook EF, you can specify, okay, I am interested in keystroke events. And events only, or I'm interested in mouse events, right? Or the message event. There is a various of events. You can, uh, the caller can specify, and for this case. Another way of doing it is get key state. For this call, actually, you need to basically pull, right? Because you don't know when this you know, one keystroke will gonna happen. So when you actually see the malware sample that is using key state, you will see uh, there is like a loop function that's going through the from the key from A to Z and then calling this in the key state, uh, get key state, you know, continuously basically keep pulling, right? And they see a lot of API calls. Any question? Does it answer your question? Okay, good. <laughs> 